Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we are returning to the community test build of update 26 as one of you guys has told me in the comments and I didn't even know this myself until um, they told me that apparently there's some new features that are worth checking out so that is exactly what we're going to be doing today so without further ado we'll just hop straight into this so we're just in the regular old solar system simulation here so we're going to hop to earth oh I want to got a new uh, the interface button for earth changes I look at the planet right okay so zooming on earth gonna open up oh okay whoa what's happening here? whoa so i zoomed in and it does so this is some new sur surface view okay so this is like a new button they've added so if you zoom if you zoom too close to a planet it does this now so okay that's, that's pretty cool but what we want to do here we're gonna open up earth we'll just turn it off for the time being right so we'll just have it on normal mode we'll slow it down now what i've been told is appearance mode if we go down here check this out water color look at that oh yes Green water. Fi it's finally doable in-game. Green water or customizable water. Because that's one thing that I've seen loads of people have been asking for for years. And I've always wanted to see it as well, really. But yeah, it is. that is really, really cool. So we can have custom-coloured oceans now. Enhanced blue. Look at that. This is this is really, really cool. Wow, yeah. Thanks to the guy who uh, let me know in the comments. I can't remember your name off the top of my head. But yeah, massive thank you to them for letting me know about this. Because this is, this is really, really cool. So, yeah, in the game, no mods, none of that. This is the community build you can access right now. You can finally customise the ocean colour of planets. How cool is that? So And, and veg don't forget vegetation as well. I completely overlooked um, that button as well. So vegetation. So you can change the colour of like plants and stuff. So we can have blue plants. Look at the Amazon rainforest now. It's blue. Look at that. Blue Amazon rainforest. Green oceans. And also, remember, you can still do the other two customization options as well. You can change the color of the cloud. You can have, obviously, the atmosphere, any color you like as well. So you can make some real wacky combinations of color now. Wow, okay. But yeah, that actually comes to mind. I've been holding off making the pastel colored solar system for quite a while now. And this update is the reason why. I wanted to wait for the update to drop because it has more bug fixes and like new features and stuff. But now this has been added. I'm definitely going to hold off on making that simulation or any simulation for the time being because... When this drops, we'll be able to make some really, really unique planets with custom ocean colours now. I mean, that'd be great for like the coloured solar system series in general. Like, we can finally optimise the ocean colours to the colour we're after as well. I think that is really, really, really cool that we can do that now. I mean, yeah, that is that is really, really cool. So if we just um, hide the atmosphere again so we can have a look at the ocean itself. But look at that. Water colour. can change it to any colour. Any colour you can think. You'd have black um, oil oceans, I guess. Uh, earth covered in oil. That's that's quite cool. You can really see where the land is um, when you do that. But yeah, any any coloured ocean you want, you can now do it in games. So if I wanted to make like an ultra funky looking earth, we could have a yeah, blue water vegetation. We could have like a bright, bright, bright green. Look at that. And then I'll see atmosphere. We'll have that as like a deep blue as well. Uh, clouds, red, red clouds. I mean, look at that. That is... That's really, really cool. So you can just like make an enhanced coloured version of Earth now, which I think that is really, really, really cool. Wow. Um, yeah. Very well done to the devs for this. This is really, really cool. I think it's great that they've um, listened to what people have wanted as well. Like, I think, yeah, co coloured oceans, that is really, really cool. I mean, I've seen people in my comments for years saying about, oh, we need this and that. And yeah, coloured oceans was always one of the ones that popped up quite a lot. It was, it was oceans, atmospheres, clouds, stuff like that. And it's all finally doable in game. I think the only thing left now that people have been asking for for years, or one of the main things I've seen, is being able to add atmospheres to gas giants. Is there's still no way, there's still no way to um, have a nice glow around a gas giant um, with any colour you want. So I'm guessing that would probably be the next thing that people would start asking for. But yeah, overall, I think this is a really, really cool step that they've done with the development of this game. I mean, look at that. So you can do it with Earth and also any other custom planets. Let's actually spawn in one um, at the moment, actually, and actually give it a go. So we'll have to use um, one because I, I think adding water and stuff is very glitchy still in this version as far as I've heard. So I'm not going to try and play with it too much. But let's just use um, open now. Wait, can we open the menu further up? How, how do we do that? Um, oh, we have to do that now. Okay, so we have to drag it. Right, so I'll go to custom objects. I just want a nice, good old customized um, object. So... Um, which one should we use? I mean, there's, there's plenty to choose from. Um, yeah, I just need a colonized world. Nothing nothing crazy, so... Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. We could use... Um, let's use one of the competition objects in the last video, actually. I'll just use this one. Right. So this has got... Has this got oceans on it? Uh, let's see here. So is that... So... Add water. 
Okay, so right now it's got dark coloured oceans. Okay. So let's just give it a go with this as well since we're we've already done the earth. Let's just do it with a random object, see how it looks with that. So yeah, um yeah, so oceans. Right now they are dark colour. Right. Oh god, no, I don't want to not don't do it too much. No, add that back. Okay, there we go. So we've got oceans on it. You can see them all going on there. Right. Right, here we are. So watercolour. Doesn't seem to be working. Interesting. But yeah, I did hear it is very glitchy. I've had a little I had a little go in this before I started recording. Yeah, I did try doing it um on some of the other objects as well. I tried doing it on a Mars and stuff, and the oceans just got stuck as one colour, and they wouldn't change colour after that. So it seems like the, the customizable oceans are still a little glitchy. So if you want to check this version out, just be careful. I guess we'll try it on one of the other competitions. Let's just use Mr. Mislot's one here. Seems very broken since it was designed in an old version, but let's see if we can customise this one. Yeah, again, it seems like they, um, they're completely... Um, not working. I mean, we could, I'll, I'll try the Mars again, just as an example as well. Let's see if we can get it to work. But let's just place a new Mars in. I'd like to add water to you. We'll put you to uh, go 30 degrees first. Uh, yep, there we go, 30. Uh, and then we want to go to composition. Just add just a, a truckload of water. And now, here we go, so it's frozen. It's at 30 degrees and it's frozen. But there's a new button for this where you can fix this sort of stuff. So I think it's on surface, isn't it? If we go down here, look at this. Melt. And it turns it to ocean. Look at that. Straight away, without any problems. Now what we can do is um, watercolour. And it looks like it's going to do what it did before. Yeah, so... Yeah, you can't you can't customize some of them. So there's still a few bugs in here, as we can see, but at least it works on the basic Earth, so we can get a good taste of what will be available in the near future. So yeah, there's a, there's an example of what will be able of what we'll be able to do in the near future with the update. And yeah, I've got to say that is that is really really cool, and I cannot wait to get to building new systems when this update comes out because this is really 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 cool. Um, where, where's the city lights? Can we uh, lights? There's a way to change the city light. Uh, city lights on. Where's the way I can change the colour of the lights? Uh, I've forgotten where it should be down here, shouldn't it? Uh, atmosphere, cloud, water, vegetation interface. No, it's not me being blind. How do you change the city light colour? Oh, ah. Aha, there we go. Right, so you have to open that sub menu. So we could have just the ultimate funky specked out earth with all these light blue. I mean, look at that. It looks like the city lights have changed. I think Africa's got some more city lights added. I think South America as well. That definitely looks like it's got more lights added as well. So I think they've done some optimizations to the Earth city lights as well. That I don't, I definitely don't remember Africa having that many lights. So I think that's really, really cool that they've um, added that. But yeah, there we go, guys. Just a brief taster of what's to come in the uh, next update. And I believe there's also some other new tweaks and stuff. But if we go back to that surface button here, for instance, so vaporize all. You can get rid of all the water, melt. I think that gets rid of the ice. Freeze all. We can freeze the earth, freeze, melt. So you can make any. You can have a frozen world straight away. You can melt it all back down again. So there's a few other buttons here. I think vaporize will be useful in some circumstances. But I think the uh, freeze and melt, these will be very useful for objects that are permanently frozen. So if we get an object stuck stuck frozen like this, all we need to do is click that and it fixes it. So real, real sweet stuff. And I believe there's a few other um, stuff hidden in the new interface here. Like there's some, a few other things added in the tools here. I think in this menu here, there's um, some new stuff. Um, where, whereabouts is it? Um, just trying to look for it. But yeah, I believe, I believe there's a, a few new buttons here. I'm not going to spend ages trying to find it. But yeah, there is definitely... Ah, gas flows. I think I think these are new as well. If we turn these on and off, I think that changes the way the water appears slightly on the uh, planets as well. But there's loads of loads of stuff um, hidden away in the menus that can be discovered um, as well. But I'm sure I'll get used to it as I uh, test this build out myself a few uh, more times. But yeah, overall, just a brief taster again, like I said there. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. And of course, I don't think the devs will be watching this. But yeah, really, really, really cool. I think it's great. And yeah, guys, if you've got any feedback as well on this, um, let us know down below in the comments what you think. Um, also, and yeah, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this because this is something we have wanted for a long time. And it's great that it's finally um, added in, I think. So yeah, there we are. Customizable oceans and stuff. That is that is really awesome. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, a massive thank you for watching today's video. And yeah, if you liked it, let's even go for 30 likes on today's video and also subscribe. Helps on the journey to 17,000 subscribers before the end of the month, guys, as we are getting super, super close now. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to click that button to stay up to date of all the new videos and stuff like that. And yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there, guys. Goodbye.